Hi, I'm Genevieve Holland, best-selling author of the Mama Natural Week-by-Week -week Guide to Pregnancy and Childbirth. I'm also the creator of a free pregnancy week-by-week -week series on mamanatural.com. You can find it by Googling Natural Pregnancy Week-by-Week, -week, and on that page, you can sign up for the series via Facebook Messenger, email, or text. In this video, we'll look at all the illustrations of your developing baby and share a little bit about what's going on each week. So let's get the party started with week three. This week is when all the magic happens. Papa sperm meets the egg, genetic material combines, baby's sex is determined, and a single-celled zygote has started traveling through the fallopian tube. Baby has officially arrived inside the uterus and implanted into the uterine lining and will begin transitioning from a blastocyst to an embryo. Mama's body has finally started producing HCG, but is still a wee bit early to detect baby via home pregnancy test. If Mama didn't know she was pregnant before, she's likely discovering it now. She's officially missed a period. Baby's got some big things going on this week too. Her major organs, including her brain, heart, and spinal cord have started to develop. There's a lot of action happening in baby's tiny little body. Her heart is pumping away at over 100 beats per minute and early brain sections have developed too. Mom, on the other hand, she probably hasn't noticed many changes unless she's been hit by the dreaded morning sickness. Baby may only be a quarter inch long right now, but this week he'll double in size. And mama is working overtime this week too, growing not only a baby, but a placenta. You know, the organ that will provide food, oxygen, and sustenance for that child. Baby is about a centimeter long now and looking more like an actual little human with eyes in the right place and a nose that's forming. Mama may not have a belly to show for it yet, but she may be feeling a little queasy. You can find natural morning sickness remedies at mamanatural.com. Stop the presses. Are those actually, wait, let me count. One, two, three, four. Yes, 10 fingers and 10 toes. What a pivotal week it's been. Baby's limbs have lengthened and she's begun to move and dance in the uterus, but mama won't feel her for another couple months. Yippee, baby is officially called a fetus this week. And mama, even though her blood volume is higher, her blood pressure is most likely lower, which can result in major dizzy spells. Time to take it easy. Baby's as big as an apricot this week, but she won't stay that small for long. Her neck is getting longer, Nipples are appearing on her chest, follicles on her head, and little tooth buds are making their debut. This little guy is about two and a half inches long now, and believe it or not, many of his vital organs and major body systems have already formed. Mama's morning sickness is starting to wane, which means her appetite may be kicking back into gear. This is the last week of the first trimester. Woohoo! Here's something crazy to think about. If this beautiful little baby is a girl, she already has more than two million eggs in her ovaries. Mama's grandchildren may be among them. Baby is tipping the scales at a full one ounce this week. Perhaps it's all that food he's been eating. Okay, he doesn't technically eat now, but he does consume the byproducts of whatever Mama eats after her body breaks that food down and passes along the nutrients. Baby's on the move now, rolling around in the uterus, which Mama will be able to feel very soon. This is a great time for Mama to get moving too. Studies show that women who exercise boost their baby's IQ and have healthier pregnancies and births too. Baby is developing many beautiful details this week, like creases on her palms and knuckles and actual fingerprints. Aww. And Mama, she's glowing thanks to increased blood volume during pregnancy. Mama may be feeling little flutters or movements inside her now. This phenomenon is called quickening, and there are very few things more exciting than feeling those very first karate kicks or chops. Baby is adding fat to fill out those adorable chunky thighs, and he's also adding plenty of fat to that brain of his. In fact, the brain is made up of 60% fat, which means it's so important for mama to be eating healthy fats and protein too. You'll find info on your perfect pregnancy diet on my site, mamanatural.com. A lot of mamas talk to their baby bumps and well, baby is listening. As early as 16 weeks, babies in utero can pick up sounds and eventually distinguish voices. How cool is that? Meanwhile, mama's body is really stretching now, which can lead to an ache known as lightning crotch. Yes, it's a thing, you can Google it. 
Baby's growing larger and stronger, measuring over six inches from crown to rump and weighing in at around 10 ounces. Speaking of things that are growing, mama's belly may make sleep a bit more difficult these days. Luckily, there are a number of tips and tricks to sleep safely and comfortably during pregnancy. They say pregnant mamas have a beautiful glow, but instead some get acne worse than a teenager's or brown spots that rival a leopard's. Blame those pregnancy hormones. But baby's faring a little better. All of his major organs and systems have formed now. Woohoo! Baby's looking pretty distinguished these days with facial features that are more developed as well as eyebrows, eyelashes, and even hair on her head. And mama, she feels good, has decent energy, and isn't too big yet. I call this the magic middle, and it's a great time for moms to get things done before baby arrives, or just take a little me time. Mama's belly is growing and growing and growing, and she might have earned what I like to call mama marks. Other people call them stretch marks. That's because baby is busy doubling his weight, which will only continue as he heads towards his big debut. Baby is nearly six months old. This week she'll weigh in at a little more than a pound and measure over 12 inches long. At week 24, most mamas have gained about 15 pounds and are sporting a wonderfully round belly. Crown to rump, baby is about 13 inches long and weighs in at one and a half pounds. Yes! As mama's belly swells with new life, she may notice some other things swelling too namely in her ankles, or in my case, they're better known as cankles. Baby is coming up on two pounds now, which is to say he weighs about as much as a pineapple. Sweet! Lots of moms notice little jolts of movement in their wombs around now. This is probably baby hiccuping. Ah. Now that baby's getting bigger, he'll likely start to settle into a more permanent position. This is a great time for mom to do belly mapping and pregnancy exercises to make sure her pelvis and baby are in good position for childbirth. I've got all the deets for you on mamanatural.com. Baby can now open and close her pretty little peepers. Not that there's too much to see in there, but hey, it's progress. Speaking of eyes, did you know that it can take up to two years for eye pigment to fully bloom? So yeah, your brown-eyed girl will likely start out blue. Baby's been hard at work adding billions of neurons to that beautiful brain of his. Go baby, go. And speaking of amazing powers, mama has some liquid gold inside of her breasts right now called colostrum that will nourish baby for the first days after he's born. Tipping the scales at three pounds, baby continues to bulk up. From this point forward, he'll gain about a half a pound per week. Go baby, and go mama. She's about three quarters of the way through her pregnancy. Did mama's shoes shrink? No, her feet have grown. Yes, some pregnant mamas will go up a half or full shoe size. Baby's doing some growing too. Her fingernails and toenails have formed and the hair on her head is in place. If she has any, that is. Baby's brain is working so hard establishing the trillions of connections or synapses between neurons. To support baby's smarts, mama can be eating omega-3 fatty acids like DHA and EPA. Now is also the time to make a birth plan. Just Google visual birth plan to get my free one. Just when mama thought she couldn't pee anymore, she's back in the bathroom. Why? Because her sweet bundle of joy is now resting right on top of her bladder. Speaking of fluids, baby is breathing and swallowing up to two cups of amniotic fluid each day, practicing for life outside the womb. Baby's lungs are nearly mature now and her fat layers are filling in nicely. Her beautiful eyes are fully open, only closing when it's time to doze off. Chances are that mama's not getting much sleep though. The struggle is real and so are those crazy pregnancy dreams. Soon, baby will drop down further into mama's pelvis to prepare for birth. This is always a huge relief for mama because she can actually breathe again. And baby is getting so big. It's about five and a half pounds, 20 inches long, and 10 to 15% body fat. Baby will be coming soon, but there is no time to rush her. The last several weeks are super important in terms of baby's development. Now is the time for mama to start eating dates. Yes, several studies suggest that eating six dried dates a day can help mom have an easier labor and birth. Bring it. Most mamas won't gain much more weight at this stage, but baby's not done cooking yet. Midwives and doctors now consider full term to be between weeks 39 and 41, and baby may gain two extra pounds between now and then. 
The baby's organs are mature now and her lungs have surfactant, which means she's ready for that first breath of air. And mama should be looking out for those first signs of labor too, like bloody show or the mucus plug. Babies weighing in at seven, eight, or even nine pounds this week and is somewhere around 20 inches long. There is no doubt about it, we are birthing larger babies than ever before in history. Fortunately, baby's bones are mostly cartilage and the bones in his skull are not yet fused. Perfect to move and compress a bit when he makes his grand entrance. Yippee, it's the end of pregnancy. And yes, I'm doing air quotes for end there because only one in 20 moms will actually give birth on their due date. When baby does come, she will probably recognize you and your partner's voice, but she won't get a good look at you. A newborn's eyes only make out lights, shapes, and movement. Yep, I'm adding one more week here because statistically speaking, a first time mom is most likely to give birth one week and one day past her due date. So don't fret mama, stay relaxed, get extra rest, eat some good food, and know that your sweet baby will be here soon. Woo, what a journey. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you are pregnant, congratulations. Be sure to sign up for my weekly pregnancy series. You can find it on mamanatural.com or you can just Google natural pregnancy week by week. And while you're at it, be sure to pick up a copy of the Mama Natural Week by Week Guide to Pregnancy and Childbirth. Wishing you a wonderful pregnancy and birth.